Hey everybody, welcome on in to the Goose Chase to Help NMS. Uh, welcome Stephen and Joyce are rating in as we just get started. So we're we're going to have some shenanigans based on the assembled <laughs> crew, but also we're going to have fun. We're going to raise money for charity. Um, Kelly, do you want to tell people about the MS Society before we do intros? Um, yes. So hi, my name's Kelly, mostly known as the Opera Geek. I am one of the idea makers behind Quest Accepted. Um, I'm on the advisory board for Stream to End MS. And our goal is to raise money to fund MS research, as well as to assist those with MS and their families in guiding them through insurance processes and all those other kinds of things. Um, my husband has MS, so it's a cause pretty close to my heart. Uh, a little bit later, I will actually go through and say what the different donation tiers do. Uh, not tiers, um, what different amounts that are donated, what it goes to. Um, but other than that, I just want everybody to know that we have two prizes that will be raffled at the end uh, with a random number picker. Um, prize one will be a full character illustration from Lou at Realm One, who also designed our logo shirts, which you can also buy. And um, the second prize is a custom-made GM screen from Kai Hawkeye, which is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. Other than that, Tanya, I'm sure we're all going to pay rapt attention and not get distracted at all. Sure. The fact that you looked away guiltily at Scotty is not helping you. <laughs> uh, but hello. In the order that I can see everyone on the screen, can you please introduce yourself and if you want your character uh, briefly, because you'll get a chance to describe them later. But if you want to say who you brought along on this misadventure, feel free. And I'm going to start with Brian because you are closest to me on the overlay. Hi, uh, I am Brian, aka Urban Bohemian, uh, pronouns he, they. I am bringing Virgil, uh, the storm sorcerer, last seen in Rivals of Waterdeep, having a very happy ending. And I'm not sure what ending brought Virgil to this point, but uh, Virgil's pronouns are he, him. Also, happy birthday, Brian. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Lauren. Hi, I'm Lauren Urban. She, her. You can find all the weird things I'm doing on the internet at my website, lauren-urban.com. And today, because these people are awesome and this uh, this charity event is amazing, I'm pulling out a character that I love dearly and I haven't actually played on a TTRPG in forever, or Kira, the dragonborn cleric who is here and is going to be a, a little upset, but that's okay because it'll be fine. It'll all be fine. Pirate. Hi, I am Chris Kinnears, aka the Painting Pirate, he, him pronouns. You can find me all over the internet, Painting Pirate, in various underscory places, paintingpirate.com. They're all linked from there. And today I am bringing Hawkwill Imal, Cleric of Tempest, who has been seen on Tanya's stream before in the Baldur's Gate multiplayer uh, stream where Vandy and I learned that you can cause combat in the camp. Speaking of Mandy. You are correct. We did learn that. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Mandy. I go by Lilo34 on the internet. My pronouns is she, her, and I'm going to be playing Chaos, uh, who is a high half elf, half elf bard of the College of Lore. And it is partially my fault that we did that we did combat in camp, partially, but I only take like 30% of the fault. So if that gives you an idea of how this game is going to go, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yes. Um, and then we have Kelly plus a special little Mabari. Yes. Um, so I have, to no one's surprise, pulled out Scotty the Blink Dog from Familiar Quest. Um, Scotty has graciously appeared to uh, uh, join us today to sleep on screen. Um, he is hoping for many, many donations to give him many, many treats because this dog is so food motivated. Um, but yes, Scotty's pronouns are he, him. He is a rogue and has I, inquisitive. I think that's the, the sub thing I did. <laughs> He's curious. It's not very smart. Uh, and I'm your DM, Tanya Seifert here. My pronouns are she, her, but the pronouns will vary based on the NPC that I am speaking as. And I've done this a lot of times, all with different groups, all with different levels of chaos, 
not just as a nod to Manny, but in general. Um, mm -hmm. And we are going to start off things in a moment. But before we do, I just want to call attention to the incentives that you can cause your own brand of chaos in this game. So since they just popped up in chat, I will read them. So for a mere $5, you can give us advantage or disadvantage. Uh, 15 bucks gives a player a reroll. $25 gives a random magic item that I can select. $50 will restore the party's HP or Scotty gets a treat. And $100 benefits of a long rest without needing to take one. And yes, the players can also donate. Because I, I have met Mandy before and she likes to cause chaos in general. <laughs> um so are you all ready to go to hell sure let's do this that what are, we're doing? uh you know that you're going to hell you've played this before that's what yeah. my pastor, that's what my pastor said growing up so i know i mean oh. me too me too <laughs> we all you know former former or relapsed denominations anonymous will be the next game that we play <laughs> I want Denominations <laughs> Anonymous to be my next cleric character. I'm so here for it. Or a band name. That's a pretty good Denominations name. Anonymous sounds like actually a group of all clerics. Like, yes. Who are in a band. <laughs> oh my God. It's a <laughs> band of who clerics. Have who have left their faith and formed a band. Yes. If That's you would cool. like to see this one shot, please donate now to the stream. <laughs> <Exactly. to NMC. laughs> I will make a I'll make a bet with or I'll make a pact with, with you all. If someone donates a thousand dollars all at once we will run that game oh. Damn. you there heard you it here that. first yeah you and i that. have my cleric nefari it just means i would have to get my twin nahiri who is also i love it <laughs> so a thousand dollars total yes i will uh, multi-class orkira into bard cleric for this game <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it so now now we have a really high goal to help the ms society uh Look, a lot of us got paid on Friday. I'm just saying. So, <laughs> and it all, all right. really does does go directly to the research. So I I can't tell you how much this does help. Like I said, I'll give you an idea of the different things it does towards the middle of the game. Um, and we are at over twelve hundred dollars. It's just a mere two hundred something to get to the next goal that will really help. And uh, if we take a break, we will read out some of the donations and thank folks. If we don't take a break, we'll read them out at the end. So, oh, one more further, thing. Sorry, yes. I should say that as of right now, I believe that the Hedgehog Command Center, which is me, um, I believe I'm the only person fundraising for us this month on Tiltify. So, oh, no. anybody that might want to donate, I love all my friends for donating their time. I really do. Okay, ready? Let's go. All right, so you all are at an inn, you know, just like standing adventures, you've been together for a while. However, you all got the same notice of a score that could put you all above the rest, a score that could probably help you retire, even though you're, you're not long into your adventuring careers. And the lure of this score has drawn you all to a town in a little hamlet called Hosberg. So, what are you all doing as you try to figure out who summoned you? And what do you all look like? All right, well, I'll jump in. Here we go. That was the longest pause, and so here I am. So, Orkira <laughs> is following everybody into town, um, basically because she's a little less interested about the score and more about keeping all these people alive so that they can retire, because that's that's the point. And it's pretty easy for her to keep an eye on everybody because she is a uh, seven-foot-tall gold dragonborn who <laughs> just kind of is literally doing the mom hover over everybody. She's carrying a, a side satchel that is just brimming with stuff. And her head is a little bit on a swivel. And every once in a while, she kind of flexes her wings on her back and kind of rises a little bit up in the air and keeps an eye out because we've come here because there's a problem and I haven't seen or smelt or tasted or touched the problem yet. And so it's gotta be around here somewhere. Uh, I say next then to to Akira is Hawkrill, who is also dragonborn, uh, white dragonborn, white scales, blue undertones for the the ice element. He's uh, heavily armored, very muscular, 
uh, carries a shield which has the emblem of his god Tempus on it and has a hefty looking warhammer shoved over his back. Uh, he just permanently has a big grin on his face, is just eagerly looking around the the inn to see who is who all is in here. Um, keeps an eye out for what, uh, the person we're trying to look for, and in his other hand is just tossing up and down, catching it, a small ball, uh, which he then just tosses over in the direction of chaos, going, hey, chaos, here, yeah, catch. And drops it immediately, yes. because chaos is a... <laughs> And then does it like, oh, no, no, and like goes to pick it up. Like, this is fine. This has not gone badly for us before. Uh, but Chaos is a high half-elf bard of the College of Lore. Uh, is uh, reasonably tall and also was distracted but following behind Horkle. Uh, and has uh, short teal hair. Is wearing half of a reasonable outfit and which is pants boots looks like a normal adventure but then it's just in like essentially her lingerie top uh and has a loot that is somehow strapped to that nobody asks how we're just gonna assume it's magic and it's just fumbling in the background now trying to grab the ball Does Virgil have something to say about this fashion? No, I mean, like Virgil is, um, you know, like about like six one, six two, um, dark skinned, uh, sh short hair in dreads, and wearing, um, wearing wearing robes, and just has a demeanor of like heard the word retirement is a little bit like, huh? Um, there is still like. He's pleased to be here, but is already kind of wondering, like, is this what life on land is like? Like, is it just, is 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 it just walking to places that are dry and not fun? Um, a small white dog, you think, picks up the ball in its mouth, promptly drops it. Because they have a lack of teeth. But as far as you all know, it's just this random dog that's following you into town. <laughs> but he's very small, very cute, and uh, has a red potion on a ribbon around his neck. I mean, I just kind of assumed it was someone's familiar. They're very cute. <laughs> it wouldn't be first time tiny creature has shown up and just started following us around. So it seems to happen all the time. It, it's probably fine. Um. So who who are we looking for again? It's so a good question. So you all are you know doing your thing, chatting with each other. You you've acquired all at one table. Scotty's just kind of laying on the table, despite people giving you um kind of looks for having a familiar on the table. I mean, you also, are. I'm not sure any of them actually know who this dog is. Yeah, they're just like, there's a dog, I guess. <laughs> sure. We've learned, we've learned to roll with a lot of stuff. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I've seen way stranger familiars, pets, wild shapes, the pets that have wild shaped, the, you name it, I've seen it. So, you know, as long as they're happy to help, I'm, I'm happy to have them along. Yeah, at the table, Hawkrill is, is picking bits of meat out of the tacos he ordered. And is feeding it to Scotty. Tail's going. Tail's going. Oh, I they've got not tacos my and wine. sushi. Oh, that's great. I like this place. It's, it's uh, good to see diverse range of culinary expertise in mm -hmm. it. Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine why anyone would think this is a bad thing. It's not quite as good as if you get it out on the ocean fresh, but, you know, they do a pretty good maki roll here. Mm. You know, we have other culinary food. We've got injera. We've got... Ah, uh, what is the right word for it? I know in other places they call it Ethiopian food. Oh, um, jollof rice. Yes, yeah, so jollof. You know, we we're a very international pub. 
I still can't quite get the the bread hold. Like I always get my I'm bad like at wet that with too. sauce, so I can't ever get the thing right. But no, it's very delicious. Oh, I have and a friend on... who uses a mage hand for that kind of thing, and then it keeps your fingers clean. Oh, it's a good idea. I like. But doesn't the mage hand miss your mouth? I, I mean, like it seems like it would get a little messy, but. Eh. Um. While you all are having this culinary discussion, and the barkeep is just providing you with whatever you're ordering food drinks sushi tacos um virgil you recognize the seal on the on the request how it lapsed your notice last time but this is a far more formal request of your group and you know exactly where this came from that is correct virgil does know exactly where it came from are you going to tell the group where it came from must i yes Yes, she was. Oh, must. fine. <laughs> so, so Virgil has has something to tell you all. It's sort of look. I, look, the sea was sort of like a gap year that maybe went on a few more years than it should have, and my family is connected. Is probably the most polite way to say it, and they've probably been sending out jobs like this to try and attract my attention so i didn't read the fine print well enough on this one but they are loaded so just but loaded you know, with what money oh yeah i i thought we were talking like food like you know loaded potatoes like, or mm -hmm. oh yeah do they have loaded potatoes here much as I would love for this oh. to evolve back into food talk, no, like money, um, money, and like they they will probably be willing to pay us a lot just if I do not throw the family name around. Don't make it weird. Okay, um, so what are we not making it weird about? So the the scroll that Virgil has, and it's now spread out, so you all can see it. Even the blink dog is kind of like poking his head over. Not that he can read it, but he but there's now motion near him. Um, there's a request to slay a dragon. Mm -hmm. No worry, it's not an ice dragon, it's not a gold dragon, neither a Kira nor Hork Girl. Very poor taste. Like it. <laughs> it it's a it's a um it's a black dragon. That has been terrorizing the countryside, eating people's cows, you know, hoarding all the wealth, and the people would like to go back to their everyday lives. It's not a good dragon. So if you can kill the dragon, and as a bonus, get get some of its hoard, then you'll be handsomely rewarded. All right, do we know, like... Uh, name of dragon, size of dragon, location of lair. Did anyone bring any um, clothing that won't get uh, set on fire from acid? Um, so it's a, it's a mostly grown black dragon. It can spit both fire and acid. Oh. Um, it is, it's not an elder dragon. It's not like, it's, it's one that your group of adventurers should be able to take out. You know, Virgil has been with the rivals. Scotty has adventured about a bit as a blink dog. Horkroll has ice. You have phoenix abilities. This should not be a problem. You know, Chaos could maybe sort of try to convince it not to attack you, maybe as a bard. I appreciate the confidence. <laughs> I'm glad I'm bringing something to the table. My bustier does, is water resistant? Will that work with acid? Like, uh, no. I and that's the opposite. Um, oh, and thank you, Springly, for that massive donation. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh. And thank you, Sahana, for your donation for a random magic item. Now I have to look up a table while we do things. Mm -hmm. um, so okay, I'm sure we can talk about food again. This is to fight, <laughs> to fight a dragon. Um, yes. This is so, you know, Virgil, like, kind of has a hmm. This seems really altruistic for something being sent by my family I mean, they, to be... they, they want to bring back hoard yes maybe it's, it's your family wants dragon killed so they can steal old dragon's money that actually makes more sense 
Yeah, I mean, sometimes that's the way you get people who don't want to do altruistic things to, to do them is show them money. So, I mean, I, I'm here for saving the people and then giving them the gold. Or, hear me out, what if we save people and then we go before giving them gold and take gold with us? Oh, I'd like that, that. way, people get saved and uh, Virgil's family, who, no offense, Virgil, kind of sound like dicks, uh, they get screwed over too. It's it win win. Or, no, or no, we fine. could, they are dicks. No. We, we could like do a three way split. We could give some of it back to the people it got stolen from, and then we can take some because, you know, you, you shouldn't be paid in exposure. You should be paid in gold for doing things. And then, like, we keep a little bit, and then we tell Virgil's family, hey, this is all that was left. And by we, I mean someone else other than me. I'm real bad at lying, but like, it, it, maybe they'll be less suspicious if we have like a little bit to offer. And then I look just directly at Chaos, who I'm hoping is going to be way better at lying than I am. That, that's something you can do, right? Sure. Totally. Very convincing. Just uh, do not allow Chaos to handle payment negotiation. Uh, Chaos is very used to getting paid in exposure, as he glances at Chaos wearing just the bustier. <laughs> and strumming the loot. <laughs> wow. No, no so shaming. Mad. I'm so mad. No. Wow. <laughs> And we haven't even got anywhere yet. Um, Could so... we just convince the dragon to go someplace else? You can try that. You could... I think if we make dragon go someplace else, though, are we not just moving problems someplace else? If dragon has taken over people here, will dragon not just go be dick to people elsewhere? Okay, but what if the people elsewhere are also willing to pay us to deal with the dragon problem? Are we now entering into sort of a confidence scheme with the dragon? Oh, are you trying to basically hire the dragon so that people can hire you to save the dragon, save them from the dragon everywhere you go? Well, the dragon has to agree first, obviously. This does not seem like plan that is particularly dripping in glory chaos. I, I much prefer the idea of, wait, where is my taco gone? Speaking of dripping, yeah, where's the, like, we had a bunch of sauces here. It's, it, it, the table looked a lot more empty than I thought a moment ago. Orkira has absolutely noticed that Scotty has eaten everything, but is <laughs> remaining very quiet because she thinks that he, he's adorable and deserves all of the snacks. Scotty pretends to sleep. Virgil, Virgil just does the finger whistle to the bartender to, like, order more food. Um... And, you know, more food is brought, carefully kept away from Scotty, who is uh, apparently blinking food directly into their stomach at this point. So, um, the Virgil dream. That's right. Right. right? <laughs> no, I, like, right? I like being able to taste my food. That feels like, the, it feels like skipping a whole important step. No, sure. right. it's still impressive. Well, yeah, you can taste the food, but then you can blink all the calories out of it. Okay, that I'm here for. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yes, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, I want that. Sold. Mm -hmm. I've some. This should be a new business venture. Mm. Well, while you all are discussing the way that you're basically going to double cross Virgil's family, uh, Virgil, you hear a very familiar voice behind you. Virgil, 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 what are you doing without Kent? And it's a uh, a rather distinct paladin's voice. Oh, no. Scotty puts his head down. He didn't say anything. Virgil just turns <laughs> around. I, you know, we are not joined at the hip. And it's I didn't a lot easier say to travel without all the luggage, to be fair. Oh, true, true. So what trouble are you all getting into? Hi, Solis. Hi, Arkira. Hey, uh, you want to introduce us to a friend? We, I, I do not believe we have met. Right. Sorry. Yes. Um, and Solis will notice Virgil grinning as he says, we're currently discussing double-crossing my family. So, you know, I oh. got a little more interested. But yes, uh, Orc Roll, Chaos, Orkira. Dog. And, and a dog, uh, Solis. Celeste just ignores all of you to talk to the dog. <laughs> the tracks. This is usual. Um, 
So should I send a note back home? Are you going to be okay? Do you need help? I'm sure that I'm sure that if we need help, we can rely on the whims of fate and the universe and perhaps people who are watching our adventures in some other plane to provide us with all the help we need along the way. Virgil, did someone talk to you about the fourth wall? They're not supposed to tell you about that kind of thing. <laughs> I only see. Wait, wait, there's, there's six. Their ceiling ceiling count as a wall. Right, because that's six then. Unless you have okay, individual right. barriers and dividers, then that's like, you know, Kent is actually much better at talking about interior design. I just do numbers. I've only talked to a wall once. It did go well for me, though. So is that what we're talking about here? Yeah. No, 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 no. This is not something. This is this is definitely not something that I the other, you know, like, let's not let's not bring the rivals and or any name recognition into this at all. Yeah. Are you sure? We, I mean, it, it's a dragon. I'm not going to say no to help with a dragon. I, 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 oh, it's a dragon. Have we have dragon one of those before. at home. Why are you yeah. flying? Virgil, we, ha we have a dragon at home. Why are you going? Are you two-timing our, our little golden dragon? No, no. BD is fine. Right? All right. BD, yeah, no. This is a, this is a, a, it's a job. And I'm sure it'll be fine. And um yeah just you know like if it doesn't go well don't tell kent because i'll never hear the end of it so how long should i wait until you don't come back before i get worried usual amount of time i think you know three days got it or here reaches into her bag and pulls out a a rather large diamond and hands it over to salise and says eh, eh, here just in case Oh, remember if I got you. Okay. Well, well at that point, past, at yeah. that point, it'll be a full on raised dead. But if you get me, and then I can hopefully get everybody else. But yeah, three days. Oof. Okay, I'll give it a week. Because I guess you have to walk to the dragon, right? I, I mean, unless the dragon well, comes I mean, to yeah, us, like it seems like it's something that's near-ish by you know townspeople, frightened dragon, terrorizing horde happening. It can't be that far. Mm. Okay. All right. So I've got the diamond. If I don't hear about this dragon being defeated in a week, then I'll get worried. I was just on my way back to Waterdeep. You need me to take anything? You good? Would you like this ball? A, 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 are you going to throw that at Slee? Are you trying to have another moment <laughs> in camp? Depends on whether she says yes or no. <laughs> uh, no, I've also got a ball at home. What to throw with the dragon? I'll play fetch with the dragon. Horkle, yes. this, we this makes sense. Dragon can fly; is easier to catch ball. This this good idea. We'll need a bigger ball, though. We definitely got exceedingly larger <laughs> balls over time. All right. Well, good luck, and uh, hopefully, I hear from you all soon. Good luck with your dragon. And uh, Celise does like nosily look over your shoulder, Virgil, going, mm, okay, got, got the details. I will mm -hmm. see you all later. And she leaves. Bye, Celise. Bye, Arkira. Oh. Keep them out of trouble, please. Uh, I'll try. Um, so you all have your missive. And, you know, assuming you survive this, you don't know, double cross Virgil's family, you'll each get paid 250 gold. You know, with the, also the assumption that you're actually going to give up the gold you find in the dragon sword when you defeat it. Is 250 gold retirement gold? No, but the but Virgil's family knows Virgil and they assume that not all the gold you recover will actually make it back to their coffers. They know their their relative. <laughs> oh. I thought like you wouldn't do it. Reputation. I, okay. Like you wouldn't do that as payback for all the years of being related to them. <laughs> ah, this is getting too real now. All right. <laughs> like trauma bonding, trauma bonding. On a Sunday. Um, so you've got your assignment. You, If you leave fairly soon, you can get to the town and bunker down for the night and then go off toward the dragon first thing in the morning. Or if you leave now, but you'll get, you'll get there to the inn in the other town like kind of late. So you've got a few hours before you should sleep and then wander off to go fight this dragon. What would you like to do? 
I say get as close to Dragon as possible and rest so we can be as close to being prepared before going into fight as we possibly can. Uh, so yeah. Also, if, if we can um, convince it to come out to us so that we don't have to fight it in its, in its home, in its lair, Ooh. that'd probably be a good thing. It's a good plan. All right. Yeah, so uh, who's paying the bill for all the food that Scotty has eaten? Scotty's gone. I got it. Scotty's out oh, the door. Virgil. Yeah, no, Virgil holds <laughs> up the holds up the letter and takes it to the barkeep and just points at the family seal. It's on them. All right. Uh, this, good, this useful information to have. <laughs> or Kara does take a couple piroshis to go. All right. You've got camp so. rations on the way. You find the suspicious backpack that always seems to have 40 camp rations in it. <laughs> that Horkle and Chaos always seem to find as well. Yeah. So you <laughs> you get to the next town. And, you know, the people there are a little frightened. They're a little worried when this group of adventurers shows up. The barkeep there is not quite as friendly as the previous barkeep. Because they've seen people come in claiming they're going to get rid of the dragon. And then, well, those people don't come back. So they're just like, yeah, it's another group of adventurers. Give them beds. They're not going to be here too long. They're, they're sad, not very friendly. Sad tune on the loot, like, uh, nobody trusts us. Oh, no. So uh, you're that do, trombone do, on the do. loot. Yeah, yeah basically. Wow. That trombone. Wow. That's how you know she's a really talented bard. She can make other instruments sound like other instruments. Mm -hmm. So I'll, uh, I'll try to talk with the barkeep just a little bit, like okay. trying to get some information. But all right, um, so I know we're not the first group here, which means that this this thing is real, real dangerous. Can, can you tell us anything about it? That like was there something the other groups weren't prepared for? A lot of the groups they seem surprised that dragons can do more than breathe fire. Okay. They'd not met anything other than a standard red dragon before. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Basically, there wasn't a lot to clean up after they met with acid. Okay, that, that's, that's fair. Do you happen to know the name of this dragon? No one's come back and told us the name, but let me see if I've got orders. And, and the barkeep is rifling through a bunch of random parchments. You hear them. They, you hear them rifling through. So as they're looking for something that may give the name of the dragon, um, what are what are you doing, the rest of you? Uh, Horkrill is busying himself with various pieces of parchment that he is using to make a little set of dragon wings that he is trying to attach to Scotty. Okay. Uh, and then they they pull out a crumpled parchment. It is named Fafnir. Okay. All right. I'm, I've got very low expectations that we're actually going to be able to talk to this dragon, but, you know, even if for a moment we can, like, catch it off guard, it's like, oh, you know my name. That always catches me off guard when people I don't know know my name, so. In Orkira's mind, he thinks, maybe we should just sing to Fafnir. That's what he understands. I mean, but, but I will not be the one singing. And and she looks over at chaos again. <laughs> and chaos is, uh, if there, I don't know what the setup of this particular inn is, but if there was a little bit of a cutout area stage, she's just out there jamming on the loot to like the one person oh, that's in the inn right now. Absolutely, awesome. you've got the barkeep and two drunks that they always have to pour out of there every night. Yep, so. and it's just like having fun playing. <laughs> A medley. No singing involved, just just instrument. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're like Fafnir, black dragon, can spit acid, can spit fire. We keep hiring people and no one has made it back. So good luck. I will Thank charge you. you uh I will send you off on your way with a hearty breakfast. It may be your last meal, so sleep well. And you get handed uh keys to various rooms because the dragon's terrorizing the town. There's plenty of open space in this inn. <laughs> oh, um, one, one more question. Does the dragon usually come by at, like, certain times of the day or week, like, oh. for ambush purposes? It doesn't come all the way in the town, but it does, like, steal cows, occasionally steal people. 
it goes by the farms that are on the outskirts of town. It doesn't, it is not yet like knocked on my door, shall we say. Okay. Uh, that's good to know. Cows. All right. Cows, Still chicken. people in the deadly way or in the not deadly way? Oh, in the deadly way. Okay. Very deadly. Um, so you all are given rooms. Do any of you want to do anything before you call it a night and, you know, prep for your fight with Fafnir? We'll be taking the night to shift a few spells around, but... Oh, I see. Otherwise, no. All right. I wonder if uh, Orkira and Hork, Hork roll just kind of <laughs> bunk in a room, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah comparing notes, like... Ah. I don't really have too much against acid. I mean, I can help with all the fire, but uh, acid, uh, it's going to yeah, be it's, bad. Uh, ask, ask Nimbus from uh, protection from energy will help me, but if maybe I can keep focus on me and the rest of you. Just make me not die whilst... Oh dear. We don't have a lot in the way of the people who can do much hurt to damage. Maybe uh, Chaos can sing it pretty strongly, but I don't... I don't think that the little dog is going to be of much help. You know, I never underestimate anyone based on their size or the fact that they stay quiet. Frankly, I think the, the, the quieter someone is, the probably the, the smarter they are. This is true. I'm, I'm mostly worried about the fact the dog only appears to have one tooth. Five, thank you. <laughs> but also, as long as they're not biting the dragon, then <laughs> do, do teeth really matter? Um, yeah, uh, Horcruel would definitely feel his pants leg being gummed in protest. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty happy to let this happen. <laughs> uh, so Scotty's gumming on Hork Roll out of protest. <laughs> and Chris, Mandy, and Tanya all know what that's like. So it's pretty great. Mm -hmm. uh, Virgil, Basically noms. Just yeah. noms. <laughs> uh, Virgil, anything you're doing as you all prepare to bunk down? Are you good? Uh, no, no. Virgil's probably taken, like, ordered a bottle of, of something nice to take with the room, like, take to his room. And, okay. like, while resting is, is just writing a letter back to, to Kent and the rest of the rivals. Um, kind of wondering if in over his head, but also, you know, we seem to pull through in most cases, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Hey, we made the goal! Oh! oh! And another treat for Scotty, apparently. That's Look at those eyes one. immediately. <laughs> yeah, he knows. Awake, awake <laughs> now, like you say the <laughs> word. Yup. He's like, hello. Mm. Um, so you have to raise the goal. 1750. Okay. Hi, Roadblock. Thank you, Roadblock. Um, Thank you. So we've hit the goal. Everyone's gone to bed. You know. Uh, chaos eventually when the drunks get poured out they they're like yeah thanks thanks you get a few people throw coppers and silvers at you because <laughs> it's the most entertainment they've had in a while uh, definitely you, it was just like grabbing those and then slowly playing like a gradually dwindling tune as i start to walk up to my room like exiting <laughs> making my own exit music um <laughs> uh, you know thankfully nothing happens you don't hear the dragon roaring in the distance you all get a good night's sleep even with the imbibing of the nice bottle, you are you are well rested. Look, alcohol and sleep. Oh, you know what? Actually, I take that back. You got really good sleep because you had that bottle. Never mind. Hey, like life experience coming into game experience here is all I'm saying. Yes. <clears throat> um. So morning comes. You all are up with the sun and the chickens, and you get downstairs and. True to his word, the barkeep has laid out a nice breakfast for you all, just in case it is your last meal. Most so. of it's still there. Wow. Okay. This is absolutely oh, just like, no. all right, let's eat. Pile a plate full and yeah, and then and then we go find some cows. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that the plan? Well, I figure if we find the cows and the dragon is going after the cows and we watch the cows and the dragon will come for the cows and then isn't that how traps work? So we so need fun. all of the cows. Yeah. I mean, it's a big dragon. One cow is probably not going to be enough to 
I mean, look look at this amazing spread that we've got from the, the innkeeper. If it was mm -hmm. just a bowl of porridge, we'd all be like, but it's a big spread, so we all just sat right down. So, yeah, herd of cows. Mm -hmm. So you are, you, you've had breakfast. Scotty ate some before y'all got down there. <laughs> and you wander out and you start seeing farmland. You start hearing the cows and the sheep and things like that. And then as you all get past a kind of far out farmland, you hear the roar of a dragon. See, it's a good plan. Friends. It worked. But not friend. No, uh, chaos, no. You keep traveling with chaos. This happens all the time. I mean, exactly. Somebody has to keep so, someone has to keep her alive. Okay, so are we talking or are we just fighting? So you can hear the the dragon, and are you all moving on the same road or what are you doing? Uh, what direction uh, do we hear the dragon? Uh, do north, like like if you basically kept going toward the kind of rocky areas. It you know if you keep going, you will eventually see caves and and low mountains. Do we uh, have the herd of cows with us? No, but the cows are not far behind you. The farmers will probably take exception. You trying to lead their cows away. What oh, but, cows remain? I mean, I, my guess is dragon will come to cows. We probably don't need to move the cows. This also, have you ever tried to move a cow that doesn't want to be moved? It's a like favor. We're taking the cows away from the area. Like, yeah, we're, you know. I've tipped a cow? I used to try to lift cows as, as strength training back in Icewind Dale, but it's very difficult to only move one at a time. It takes a very long time. Uh, I suggest perhaps that uh, find cover. Uh, those who maybe will be attacking from range hide where Dragon cannot see. Uh, I will stay in open, so Dragon comes to bite me first, and then while Dragon is doing on me, the rest of you go, ah, and Dragon go, boom. Uh, either Horkrell or Akira, can you, you can speak in the tongue of dragons, correct? Could I am you, of a draconic nature, I can yes. indeed, yes. <laughs> Do either of you want to yell out to your cousin? Uh, somewhere, by the way, all of a sudden, quite suddenly, somewhere by your feet, you just hear, oh, it's an actual dragon. <laughs> I look down at Scotty, what did you what think it was? Entire? Wait, no, what? Wait, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you, whoa. okay, you all heard that too. That's good. You yeah. were able to talk this whole time? We could have seriously told stories. Dogs can't talk. Well, if oh, dogs can't dog. talk, then what are you? Or what are you doing? He sneezes and is not there. I mean, that's probably smart. Um, <laughs> 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 Yeah, I think I think poor girl and Scotty make a good point. Cover, and then, I mean, uh, poor girl, you want to? Do you want to bait I, it? I, I will. I will. Uh, I will be bait. Yes. Okay. Um, Horkrell, are you going to try to speak draconic to it, or are you just going to yell? How are, He's how are you baiting the dragon? So once uh, once everybody has got to the the positions that they are try, trying to get to. Uh, Hawkrill is going to. Oh God, cleric! Why does why do clerics have so many spells? Because they're <laughs> awesome. Keep scrolling. Um, Just keep scrolling. There it is. <laughs> uh, he's going to cast protection from energy from on himself to give himself resistance to acid damage for the next okay. hour. Okay. Uh, and uh, Orkira isn't necessarily going to hide, but she's going to strategically position herself so that she's within like. 30-ish feet of everybody and go, mm -hmm. all right, well, I'll, I'll take care of the fire for a moment. And she is going to activate one of her channel divinities, uh, which goes and uh, for the next minute, as long as anyone's in that bubble of her divine power, uh, everybody's going to have uh, resistance to fire damage and y'all get some temporary hit points. Well, I need to. Everybody, oh, I rolled well. Six temporary hit points. Yeah. Oh boy, uh, I need to look up another magic item. Is there a like good rock or something nearby, like slightly behind Horkhole, but not too far away? Um, I would normally make you roll for it, but 
Um, roll a d6 and let me know what you get. A three. There's a decent sized rock. Okay, Chaos is absolutely going to go over, climb on top of the rock, and just, like, shrum the loot. Like, just a riff in the background. Like, we're ready! All right. Huh. Not exactly what I had in mind when I said hide, but, you know, it, it works. It's fine. Virgil's going to be behind the rock. Um, <laughs> just, yeah. Like, there's a, there's a little bit of a lean out to look, but no, behind. All yeah. right. And once everyone is in position, uh, Hawkwell <laughs> is going to, to yell out in Draconic, My, look at all these delicious cows. It is perfect place for me to set up my new dragon lair. It's good thing no other dragons are in this area or we might have problem. But I, Hawkwell, am now the dragon living in this area. This is all mine now. And you hear an inquisitive roar back. <laughs> like, Homest dares? <laughs> okay, very lightly, like, not going hard yet. Start strumming the beginning of For Those About to Rock. Mm. Oh, my God. All right. So, you, the dragon hears this. They've heard your challenge, War Crawl. Mm -hmm. And soon you all feel the ground begin to tremble as the dragon comes out of its lair. It's a decent sized black dragon. Virgil, this is bigger than, it's almost as big as the golden dragon you've seen when traveling with the rivals. It's, Wait, it's a good size. or like Tamsir? Tamsir. Oh, that's big. Mm-hmm, it's, yeah. it's not quite Tamsir big, but it's, it's big and. That's like, that's like, that's like, you know, um, respectable skyscraper. Great, okay. Um, yeah, no, Virgil, Virgil stays like kind of smirking at Horkle's plan, but is like, yeah, no, this is going to work out great. Staying behind the rock. Mm -mm, yeah. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> all right. Um, there's a giant black dragon staring down at all of you, and it's focused on you, Horkle, since you called out and challenged it. Yeah, Horkle just pounds his, his fist on his chest and looks up at the dragon and goes, come at me, brother. <laughs> Oh, I thought we were negotiating, but oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> I, so, I thought we decided negotiation was not good. Oh, oh dear. Well, it, it's this is very, happening it's now. A very thin line. It's, Did know, he just it yell really the equivalent is. of like, come on, if you think you're hard enough? Like, like yeah, yeah, he purple. yells that in Draconic and you watch Orkira just kind of her eyes go big. And then in common, she'll say, oh, okay, I guess that's all the negotiating we're doing. <laughs> uh, for those of you that want to engage in this combat, roll me in and <laughs> want to <laughs> will anyone because so far it. only horkle's done the <laughs> like the head head everybody head just watches so... horkle get eaten <laughs> get out well it it was was a friendship here. <laughs> you know i have to look that up i actually don't know while while i'm looking that up you all give me initiative roles in the in our chat from somewhere in the vicinity of Virgil's feet, there is a muttered, I thought we were fighting a goose. <laughs> um, <the laughs> I only answer, came because I was fighting a goose. The answer is no, because dragons have too high of an intelligence. Okay, what about fast friends? <laughs> uh, um, Mandy, Jesus Christ. Yeah, no. <laughs> It's a valid question. I also have that's, charm monster. That's all I'll say. It's Ooh. a valid question. Like, yep. Fast friends. I'm looking up fast friends. No, it has to be. Is this exactly how I build my characters 100%? Yeah, uh, no. Like yells down at Scotty. What do, you, do you think that's what a goose? What are you talking about, goose? Like, like uh, that's, not, that's a dragon. Dragon. Scotty, what's your. Um, oh, uh, sorry. I forgot to put it in chat at uh, 12. Uh, no, fast friends only works on humanoids. Oh, that's right, it does. Charm monster? I mean, I technically a monster, right? I'm just, I'm Googling while you keep asking me. Yeah. 
<laughs> I really, at this point, I should have asked these in enough games that I already know the answer to them, but I'm never quite sure the uh, various creatures and people and things that we're facing, what they qualify as within the context of these various spells. Yeah. I mean, so do you have the variant Charm Dragon? Uh, no, I think I just have Charm Monster. Is there a Charm Dragon? Goes to look at the it's just I mean, creature, so I think it works. Just creature, it's just yeah. yeah. It works, but there is a variant of specifically dragons. So which is used by a very specific type of adventurer, I'm just gonna say. Yeah. yeah I would from not the grass any bards that has taken charm dragons. Listen, so. everybody's got their type, it's fine. Uh, mm-hmm. from the grass by Virgil's feet. Oh a, a goose looks like my friend Pess sent me here because he said he was getting tired of me. And I think that was really not fair because he's the one that brought me to his house in the first place. And if he didn't want me to talk about what he looks like, then maybe he shouldn't have brought me to his house. That's all I'm saying. Is a dragon basically like a goose with its feathers plucked out? I no. wouldn't say that to a goose. Or, <laughs> or a dragon. I wouldn't say that to a dragon. <laughs> I don't know. So, what, I don't know who Pest is. I'm sure they're great, and I look forward to hearing. Oh, he's more. my friend. He kind of just, looks like a cat if a cat got caught in a sewer grating um, uh, after yeah, a just storm. Like, I think right now is, you know, right now quiet time is good. Oh. Um. All right. So <laughs> actual Scotty fell asleep, so that works. Oh. Oh. Um. So yes, Charm Monster could work, but it'll be a high DC chaos. Okay. But and you are first in initiative order. So what are you doing? I also need to roll for the dragon. I forgot. Oh boy, chaos going fast. This is going to go well. Oh goodness, how does charm? Is... How does charm monster work, uh, Mandy? All right. Uh, oh, sorry, to... you don't go first. Oh no, the dragon goes first. The dragon got a nat twenty, and I'm taking a photo so you can see it. I rolled an actual d twenty, and I'm taking a photo. So I mean, I trust you. Yeah. No, I know. Sorry. No, no but, I, but waste your not twenties on initiative. That's great. Yeah, please. Yes, please. <laughs> I mean, Get it's a dragon. There's a breath weapon. I don't know if that's a waste, but sure. Look, we all know what we showed up here for today. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. Okay. Food. Um. Always. So chaos. While while you are figuring out what you're going to do, the dragon is staring down Horkrel because you're the one that came out and was like, "Come at me, bro." Uh, but they are, luckily for you, not quite in range, even for their fire or acid breath. They still need to come out and get towards you. So luckily for you, at least their first round is getting within striking distance of the group. Get them out of the lair. That's all we care about right now. Mm-hmm. Now, chaos. Is it there is anything... Uh... Does it just like look like a regular dragon? Does it have any embellishments? Is there anything we can tell about the dragon from as it's getting closer? Um, it's a coal black dragon. Even though it's daylight, the, the the scales shimmer a bit. You know, like when something is so black, it looks almost blue. Okay. Okay. But it's uh, not, it's not like there's nothing, it's not, it's not like it has gold scales or anything like like not odd it's it's like the deepest darkest void of a void black it's it's what's the i, I have an what? example it's black. i have an example yes <laughs> <laughs> there you go yeah it's a vanta black dragon yes mm-hmm. there you go oh <laughs> um, glare we're getting from this kitty dragon is very on <laughs> that is yeah that's i'm gonna story. die later like... <laughs> <laughs> but yes all but right. you have, you're staring down a Vanta Black Dragon. What are you going to try to do with it? Oh, I'm 100% going to try and charm the dragon. Uh, so I'm going to cast Charm Monster, but I want to do it as a performance to this dragon. And because of how it looks, I want to play Supermassive Black Hole as, <laughs> as the song. <laughs> You I'm know good. what? I'll allow it, and you have to beat a 25 performance check. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to try, y'all. It's oh, Look, man. you're trying to help the dragon. If anyone wants to help the bard, feel free. Having, <laughs> having dealt with over- and charismatic people before, uh, Virgil does kind of reach up and claps a hand onto Chaos's ankle and casts Enhance Ability. Oh. Um, giving you, wait, sorry, which one's charisma? 
I can't read all of a sudden. Yeah, you have advantage <laughs> on this. So. Okay. I have advantage <laughs> on this. <laughs> Do you have advantage? <laughs> Um, that is in addition to the other ones. Yeah, that we have. People. I'll mark it as an extra. All right, so I'm rolling performance. That. Also, and then... it may be a YOLO. That's cool anyway. All right, hold on. Can I see it in the list? Of... I wish guidance wasn't a touch action. I don't know how to. Who said it has to be touch? How do I roll like with advantage in D and D Beyond? I feel like if this you is... if you right click. Ah, that's what I did wrong. I so I use guidance in Baldur's Gate all the time, and no one has to touch anyone. I just feel like I thought I felt like guidance. So, was would be. Oh, oh, I rolled a thirty-two. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know what? Wow. Okay. Uh, okay. Bard gonna bard. Right. Yep. Never I have to bard. applaud that. I have to applaud that one. Everybody just starts like dancing as soon as as uh, she starts just, playing. Like, rocking like, on the rock, playing the song to our dragon as uh, it gets closer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, that yeah. you know what I can't argue with that role. So please, chaos. What does it look like when you charm the absolute <laughs> hell out of this dragon? <laughs> Well, mostly I think Chaos is just like rocking out, like just having fun playing on the loot on the rock. And uh, as the dragon gets closer, just being like, this is my song to you. Oh. <laughs> uh, the dragon, despite being ready to like chomp on Horkrel at first, is swayed by this music. They can't help it. And for a creature its size, it is actually quite graceful. Um, and it is, it's getting its jam on. It's really into what you're playing. So what are you having the dragon do other than be very impressed by your musicianship? I didn't think that far in advance. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do we need here, party? I forget. <laughs> what oh, are we oh, doing? Well, well, now, now that they, they're happy, maybe we can convince it to like change its ways and not be... Evil? Bad? I don't know. I don't know what you gotta call it. Also, your music through, is amazing. Through power, through the power of rock, we convince Dagon to change its ways. And join side of good. For those here to rock with you, we salute you. Uh, well, I can't speak to the dragon right now because I'm, I'm playing the song. So I think I'm gonna rely on our <laughs> can communicate partners. Yeah, yeah. T tell me, tell me what you need, and I'll translate. And I'll just—I won't go through the translation. Just say what you will, and just assume Orkira is being the translator for everybody. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's still like a better place. You like your your scales look fantastic. You obviously are taking a lot of great care of them and keeping yourself healthy. Totally appreciate that. Love when somebody takes does their self care routine. But yes, you are causing a little bit of trouble here. There won't be many cows for very long. So we really need you to consider finding a slightly more sustainable pl place to live. Like, how's this going to go for me, DM? <laughs> oh, that role was amazing. You could tell that dragon to fuck off. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm like, you could, but that was That's a plan 32. C. That's like plan C. That was a 32. That was like God tier rolling though. So you could you could not be as complimentary and it would still work. But the dragon's just like nodding, like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I put, I'm getting what you're putting down. What so where should I go though? Yeah, do any of us know anything about the surrounding region? Uh nothing, but at that Orkira will say, Well, here's the good news. You don't necessarily necessarily have to go anywhere. We just need to like, like she said, change your food habits um, like this. And I'm going to cast create food and water, which creates 45 pounds of food and 30 gallons of water. Um, and I'm going to when I create the food, it's going to arrive in the shape of a cow. So like really delicious. A meat like, sculpture. A, well, it, I kind of wish I could do create meat a, and, and a water, tofu, but it's a tofu sculpture. I always kind of pictured it like protein bars, except chocolate protein bars. Okay. Uh, Ooh. But yeah, so like just a big 
like a, a chocolate milk cow just appears <laughs> and a big bucket of water. And I'm like, options. Is that where chocolate milk comes from? You hear from the grass. Yes. They always told me it was just because of brown cows. That, it, it, yes. Also that. So the dragon asks of either Horkroll or Akira, but then does the dra- does the cow taste like chocolate? Well, in this case, I, I made a chocolate cow, but I mean, I, I can make a whole bunch of other stuff if, if you've got a particular taste in mind. What I'm saying is you don't have to just eat the cows. There's a whole buffet of options that are not going to continue to send people after you because they're going to be angry. Exactly. See, secret is sustainable farming. You you understand. You're just eating all the cows, and eventually they will send competent group after you who will. It is not going to end well. Whereas if you know we can help arrange for food to be given, and maybe you can uh, exist in some sort of you know, symbiotic relationship with village to where you protect the village, and they help keep you on sort of imagine chocolate cows or whatever type of cows you wish as retainers. But uh, it's your retainer fee, right? And then we provide them, and village continues to eat. You continue to eat. Village is protected. Everyone happy. I'm confused. In the grass. They're talking about ecological sustainability within the community is what I'm kind of picking up. It's all in Draconic, so I'm a little bit shaky, but it seems That's like we're trying to get words. them. Out. It's, it is a, a lot. You know, it's... It, can you read what do you think you you played with scotty scotty cannot read. <laughs> but scotty scott uh, uh, the you hear it and there is suddenly a small dog um at the foot of said chocolate cow about to take a bite out of said chocolate cow scotty don't no no no, no, no. Uh, we are going to we are going to take dog away because dog is, is snack sized uh, dog it's, definitely it's, going to get eaten dog is not part of arrangement also scotty so chocolate know. it's good chocolate it's not a good thing no no chocolate for dogs no well the dog and then the dragon looks down and notices horkel holding scotty it's like that's they just kind of like lean down a little bit they're like snack like, no, see, this is, is the representation of what we are trying to explain. You see, dog is village, and you are me. I'm much bigger than dog, but event- this tiny dog, this tiny dog only have little gums, it's not do damage, but eventually big dog show up, and big dog bite and hurt badly. So if tiny dog give me food, Help me, Okia. Uh, <laughs> okay, how about we quickly. work with like building its own herd? So rather than it coming and just eating everyone else's cows, it'll have its own Ooh. cows. We're gonna talk teach it how to start a beef talk ranch. About, talk about convenience. Talk about location. Yeah, if like have it be in in a clearing cows, then... in the mountains, <laughs> farther away from everybody else. You don't have to go as far. As long as you're not eating them all at once, they will become self sustaining. And then you're just like when you have the munchies, you can go to take one, but they're your own. Like I feel like sustainable farming is really the avenue mm-hmm. we need to go here to to get to a less problematic solution. Also, if you're negotiating, then you get more than cows. I, I, have you ever tried cheese? I have. It's good. They, the dragon like opens her mouth and then closes it. And it's like, is cheese the, I, it usually melts before it gets very far. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's true. Then but, we call it Saganaki and you can get it because there's all kinds of food in Faerun. Is that what this area is called? I have no idea. What's the what thing you think like, you what's are? The, what's the thing like that you melt and you like you shove it off the? Oh, the Saganaki. Oh, so, 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 the... Saganaki is the Greek one that you light on fire. Yeah, but there's yeah. One with the, the hot raclette. <sighs> no, I. Oh, yes. that that oh, wait, okay, like, wait, you can wait, but breathe no. fire, but then have cheese and it's instant melty. Fondue. <gasps> oh. Fondue pot. Oh. oh. I feel like there's a lot of culinary options that this dragon has. Why have I never had this thing them. we're talking about, by the way? It, oh, Kelly, it's great. Kelly in general, not the mm-hmm. dog. <laughs> Kelly, so, I, will, I will send you a link to a place. There's a place in NYC that does it amazing. I will okay. send you a link to it later. Yeah, so good. Um, so um, we are like 
they've still been doing a lot of draconic or has the dragon started just has the dragon overcome I'm imagining that we food started speaking in a also, common tongue. I imagine we were doing this part in common so that the rest of the party Thank understood goodness, what we were saying. I, you know what? Yep. I was going to make you role play it, but you know what? This has gone entirely a whole direction I didn't expect. So <laughs> I, I would um, like to point out Mandy has made one role and broke the game. Yep. I is <laughs> in fairness, normally when I try to do this, it goes badly. So I just yeah, kind of assumed that outcome for us this time. I love it for us. I love this it's so good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is just like we we started with food. We're continuing with food. Yeah. I mean, I was waiting for Mandy to convince the dragon it was a goose. <laughs> yeah. That's not gonna work. It knows I feel like it's that's a dragon. Not, that's, yeah. Mm. It's got a good. Self, I don't know if you met a good, but I feel like we were still vibing while all of this is going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so you're you're vibing, <clears throat> and so, go ahead. I was gonna say no. Like if we're if we're good on, like you don't have to like you don't have to fly far to get your food. They can maybe we can do a tribute kind of situation, mm-hmm. and but you, you know you got to let the town build up, build back up, otherwise. And but like what happens when you raise the town? You gotta travel somewhere else and everybody prefers takeout versus like sorry, delivery versus like takeout. So and you know, at this point, just assume dragon speaking common at this point, because they're tired of trying to translate between draconic, like gold draconic, ice draconic, regular draconic, back to common. <laughs> <laughs> their their draconic AAV isn't up to snuff, even though they're a black dragon. <laughs> Coats Your accent, though, is place. amazing. Yeah. I'm very impressed. <laughs> Look, they've lived away from the other black dragons for too long. They've lost all the lingo. Um, so what I'm understanding is you will work with the humans that have been raising the cows I've been kind of just snacking on to bring me tribute of cows so I don't have to just go take their cows. Is that not what you said? Ca- well, not just cows. could be all kind of... of- culinary whole culinary world out there for you to you to discover people make very good food when they are not terrorized mm-hmm. i'm a simple dragon cows are relationship oh, yeah, but if only one is cow then maybe th- that is fine too you know just say maybe you could try try to extend the palate a little bit but if, if you decide to keep going back to cow i'm sure this is fine um and the the dragon is also looked down like where did that tiny voice come from or are you still holding scotty no well he was <laughs> <laughs> there was a sneeze and scotty is now like on the dragon's head nose like looking at him like this is much better i i can actually see you and you just Would a dragon, dragon get cross-eyed? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's very <laughs> difficult for the dragon now. The, the dragon's like also like jet. It's like the dragon realizes that this tiny creature will die if it falls. But so he's like very gently, like trying to like look at Scotty, who's like kind of splayed on on his snout. Can, can one of you get your your dog? I can't I, see. I, I got it. I got it. And Rakira is uh, reaching into her bag as she flies up. And uh, she'll gently, if, if Scotty's okay with that, gently pick up Scotty under one arm. And then the other hand is going to come up while she's flying, like, eye level with this dragon. She's pulled out a bag and reached into the bag and pulled out a marshmallow and said, listen, I know that um, you're into the cows, which I totally understand. But have you ever had marshmallows? And she'll set her hand on fire so it's an, a perfectly toasted marshmallow and offer it to the dragon. Uh, and the dragon, far more gently than you would expect, takes the marshmallow. And for whatever value of a dragon trying to smile, <laughs> you have you have given it something sweet. It is a happy dragon. You see, you see what we say. All kind of uh, whole world of of option out there. I, I don't. Hawkrill is from uh, Icewind Dale. I do not know if you have ever been up that way. Experience the fabulous dish of ice spider stew. Uh, it, it excellent, excellent culinary innovation. You should give this try sometime. Scotty, Scotty is literally making the dog throwing up right before dog throwing up, like <laughs> heaves. <laughs> Uh, the, the, the dragon did notice your, your very emphatic <laughs> Virgil <laughs> and it just kind of tilted its head at you and goes, problem? 
I I feel that while it is very important for one to expand one's palate, perhaps we can ease into things. I mean, you're I from what the villagers have told the party, it's mainly cows that the dragon's been like like nomming on, right? And people. Yes. Yeah. Well. Oh. Oh. Is it putting like? It's it, eaten a few it... people here and there. Oh, that's. Mm, that's if you let them give you the cows, they can season them. Okay. So there will also you know, be less screaming involved. Yeah. Let's let's start with oh. you know if you if you leave the cows for a while, then we get milk, then we get the cheese that we were talking about, then we get other types of of foods, and. I, I'm trying to like to make this. Essentially, the people are the people are frightened. Like they're a little scared. You may have to. There may have to be a tiny bit of give and take. You know, um, I was like dragons. Well, I'm sorry, black dragons are what fire and acid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, um, maybe you know, a little bit of acid for alchemy. There could be a little bit of a trade that burgeons in the town. Bring it some economy. And then there's like there's more interest in the village to continue raising livestock because I mean you've had cows but have you had chicken? I mean you might think that it all tastes the same but have you had chicken? Have you had Those... a marshmallow chicken? Okay, that sounds amazing. No, I'll work on that. Covered in sugar. But you mean the little flying things that shriek and leave? I think they're eggs. Keep on, you all are having this conversation with a dragon in the middle of. Mm-hmm. of... Look, of this a is field. Not yep. But, I like to I think mean, that there's a farmer or a shepherd somewhere that's just like. <laughs> oh, I was getting there. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting there. So you know the farms that you passed. <laughs> yes. There's now a small group of villagers watching this, <laughs> in both mortification, assuming they're about to watch while get eaten, and also fascination. Because all these poor villagers know is the wives' tales about dragons and, you know, the couple people that got dragged off screaming, but nobody liked Ed. After all, Damn. nobody missed him. <laughs> okay, wait, has the dragon ever had an egg before? Like, had eggs? Or just talking um, about chickens in the context that they leave eggs behind? Like, they leave eggs behind. It's potentially concerning because dragons lay eggs. So this um, might be a... Yeah. Smart enough to understand the difference between, <laughs> you know... It's sentient eggs and non-sentient eggs. Maybe it's time to start moving from chickens to ostrich raising, you know, a little bit like lar- on the larger egg side. Mm. The Is the far- climate here appropriate for ostrich? You know, I don't know. What, the, what, are the farmers, what are the farmers' reactions at this point? They, because you all are now speaking common, the farmer, you see one farmer that looks uh, curiously like a, a certain legally distinct Varric Tethrys that we met yesterday, yeah. whipping out a quill. And uh, a notebook, taking notes about all this. How can you tell he's whipping out a quill with all that chest hair? Anyway. I'm gonna say it's just the the that's where, the that's quill... where he keeps it. Oh, yes. mm-hmm. chest sure. hair folding. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, chest welcome hair. high rollers. Hi, high rollers. Hey, welcome hey. To you. <laughs> Uh, We've gone slightly off the rails, but that's okay. It's all for charity. <laughs> for being ridiculous for charity. for charary. So, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. like you do. We even we're have using, the dog cam. We're using food to make friends with a black dragon. So you've come yeah. just in time. We so at this point, we didn't so much go off the rails as the train reversed back through the station. <laughs> it didn't even ever pull out. Like <laughs> The rails that's... are a long forgotten concept at this point. <laughs> You were almost to the next station, and then that roll happened, and then you just heard a, <laughs> we are now returning to our departure station. Please. That wasn't incredible. <laughs> it's 32 this, this on street, performance. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. This dream is now a bus replacement service. <laughs> it's got to be better than the MTA. That's all I got to say. For real. <laughs> or the CTA. Um, so... Yeah, the, the farmers are actually like paying attention. And as you all keep talking to the black dragon, they realize that maybe you're not gonna just all get eaten. Maybe. Adding this to my resume did not get eaten when expected to. <laughs> mm-hmm. So uh, the dragon is still under the thrall of that of that amazing role of convincing the dragon and persuade monster. Um 
so you've now talked the dragon into being more eco-friendly and contributing to the farming economy of this village that they had terrorized. Uh, what about the horde? What about the stuff it's kept? What are you all going to do about that? Oh. See, at this point, I think horde can stay with, with dragon at this point. Dragon's mentality has shifted. Just, uh, maybe if, if parts of horde were taken from village, maybe we return those as a gesture of goodwill and investment in new relationship. The Return dragon to can village to village. Yeah, dragon can help pay for some of the things that the village will now do on behalf of dragon to create the symbiotic relationship. And it won't listen. If this dragon has really been is that old, is like old enough to be a good sized dragon, it has accumulated a pretty solid horde. It probably isn't going to do too much damage to like pay for the village to restock cows and start considering ostrich Quake. and Quake, what have you. Explain the tax code in Draconic. Oh no! <laughs> Listen, the last time I tried to do any math, um, I failed miserably, and I ended up with diamonds that weren't the, the quality that I needed to bring people back from the dead. So I, I, I think as long as as long as the the dragon is getting something out of the 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 horde. Yeah, because, um, y you know, and she's going to she's like going back and forth on two feet, trying to figure out how to say this in the nicest way possible with the dragon right there. Um, dragons are very protective of their hordes. And so um, it's it's only fair that they, we offer g good things if they're going to use any of that gold. How about That's a it. pile of marshmallows to convince it? I, I, I mean, mean, I can. I, I can only make them one at a time. You don't but need you, marshmallows. If, if you give me a couple of minutes and Rakira will pull out the bag that does <laughs> magically make marshmallows, but they make one at a time and they're always kind of stale. And she will just like set up near a rock nearby and just start going one, two. Like the chicken ones taste better when they're stale. Hmm. What if could we, if you melted them, could you make like a pot of fluff? <gasps> could you make a Nutella and chocolate? Like, a marshmallow fluff sandwich? All, yes to all of that. <laughs> so while you all are while you all are doing this, the dragon, the dragon actually has been like now they're sitting up like a curious puppy, like on, <laughs> you know, like how dogs or or better yet, how cats sit and they wrap their tail around their paws. Mm -hmm. So they're sitting like that, listening to all this, and they're like, "What if I just buy part of the town and they have to feed me?" Well, if you buy the town, then you're technically in charge of uh, maintaining the town. And so, you're a landlord. Yeah, I, I sorry to Gosrick would never forgive me if I didn't bring up the concept of in future as an of investor. What? Ah, see, an investor is somebody who provides capital but doesn't actually have to do work and merely benefits from the investment of that capital i'm pretty sure i'm saying that right he can probably sense that i'm not saying it wrong it's okay oh it's like a group project but you don't have to do anything oh sorry brian just got uh, ow <laughs> <laughs> you just did psychic damage to all of us that have done good all of us wow. take psychic wow. damage for that <laughs> Except for our hero is like, but I always liked doing the work in the group projects. I mean, yeah, I just want to get anyway. Uh, um, so if you, are, <laughs> it's it's got to be the the smallest, 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 smallest part of your hoard to fund the efforts of the town. They will be a lot more encouraged to raise. Uh, my brain forgot the word for. Oh, Cow, livestock. cattle, cattle, yeah, and livestock. That's it. Mm -hmm. There you like, go. Where, where that we're Future food. Livestock, cattle, future food. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine? And again, Gosrick is not here because he'd already be drawing up a contract. Can you imagine if this town became famous for creating a culinary adventure specifically to satisfy a dragon? Think of all the things you've never eaten. Have you ever collected tastes? No. Oh, no, but I want to now. Collecting taste is one of the reasons that I travel the multiverse. It's so much fun. And the more people that you get involved who can like bring you new things to try. Yeah, it's it's one of the best reasons to be alive. What's the name of the See. town? 
Did it have a name? It did, Hossberg. but I don't remember. Oh, so this is Hosberg. Okay. All right. Yeah. I thought we were. It's a horse it. town. It's it's Hosberg That's... or Ravine. Or... Hey, so in, in your case, you know, you, you are investing. So I've heard of this type of scheme before myself as well. You you get future cows. You you are investing in meat futures, effectively, is what you are doing here. But, oh yeah, but I could. Okay, okay. And it's up by by. Um... Horror cruel. Incidentally, for people who don't get the joke, every time Scotty huffs or sneezes, he is teleporting to wherever he wants. Um, so what you're saying is if he's investing in the future, is that yes. like future cows have to age backwards? No. No. But we should talk about aging uh beef because. Oh. I, I assume you eat cows just raw. You don't like cook them or nothing. Me? The drink, yeah. Just... I kind of lightly sear it for a little bit of of flavor. Oh, oh! I mean, just oh. I don't want to ruin anything for you, but I I have to say you may be about to discover an entirely new dimension of beef if you just let things take a little time to be raised out here and not raised but raised not raised raised grow R -A -I. up <laughs> so the dragon is now sitting there like like we this. will this will help you hoard flavors and tastes i mean think about it if you do this you're essentially doing the equivalent of adding in a, a village to your hoard like that's an achievement. Ooh. That's a good one. There's that 32. It, it takes a village <laughs> to raise a dragon. Is that what we're doing here? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's the other way around as well, but we don't want that kind. I really yes. wish I had Bones' dragon wings in reach so I could get them and put them on him. <laughs> so, so you see the dragon like contemplating, you know, like the, we all know the gif of the very confused person trying to do math. That is the dragon right now. <laughs> And they they sit there and they kind of stare at the ground for a few minutes. And they're like, I guess. So I take it you need gold to go replace the cows I've already eaten. Yes. But see, you, the, the cows can make new cows, and I sincerely hope we do not have to go into mechanics on how that works. Wait, that, how do they make new cows? Do they? Yeah, I thought we'll they we'll came you, out we'll of those you. rolls of hay. We'll explain when you're older. We'll explain when you're older. We don't come out of the rolls of hay. Oh. But because so many cows have been eaten, uh, new oh, cows yeah. will need to be brought in so that the cycle can sort of be started. This is what we're talking about. Your, your method of farming right now is not sustainable because you have not been replenishing the stock. But but in the meanwhile, while well, well, you're waiting, you won't get, uh, you won't have to wait for other things to try. And Rakira has continued to be putting just a pile of marshmallows. <laughs> There's just like a mountain of mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, and, and like as a little offering to a very big dragon, it's a large pile of mushrooms that she has artfully kind of smushed together to look like a cow. So, so it's, yeah, a, it's, I, a, it's instead of a peep, it's a cow. It's a, it's a, yes, it is a, uh, a, cow a calf, calf sized marshmallow sculpture <laughs> and okay so, go, so yeah while we're you know you're not gonna get nothing you're gonna get stuff right away uh just other things while we wait for cow futures to mature did i did i say that right uh, you got it correct yes okay yeah so the the poor dragon who is now bewildered they thought that they were just gonna have a nice snack from the random adventurers or at least keep them <laughs> They're so they're you know now they've got like you know in fighting games when you're when you're kind of knocked you're not knocked out but you're confusing you have the birds uh -huh. this is this is the dragon's internal monologue right now I just thought I was gonna eat some people I just, I heard another dragon uh it's <laughs> fine and they're like you know they look at they look at you chaos and like you know what I'm going to reward. What is probably the most in ingenuous way of anyone ever interacting with me. And Fafnir invites you to the horde to pick items. And those of you that got magic items, describe what you get, what you find. I think everyone has got 
the three magic items have been accounted for that we got donations for. Yeah. Um, so since, uh, I, since I got the first one, I, I will I will go first. Yeah. Uh, so Hawkroll now has uh, he finds a, a a needle which contains a magical tattoo spell. So he has a life well tattoo which he presses uh, like removes his armor and presses against his left bicep and just has a tribal tattoo that goes around his arm now. Okay. Which gives him resistance, necrotic damage, and life ward. So. All right. Um, the, who took the mantle? I don't think anyone took the mantle because none of us are rangers or yeah, druids. Or druids. Oh. <laughs> well. Or Kara will pick it up and go, this is really pretty. Do you mind if I give this to uh, a, a druid that I know? Um, Penelope's it. needed like a, a second uh, something to wear while her her cloak is in the wash. Oh, what it is is, is fine by me. Oh, perhaps since since it looks like it, it's shift color, perhaps in the meantime we give it to dog so dog can hide when he blinks. Oh, okay. And then I will you can uh, give to give to your friend later. I will very gently place the mantle on Scotty. <laughs> Which is uh, a sentence I just said and I love. <laughs> yes. Scotty cannot read or cure. What does the mantle do? Oh, so the mantle, I need to scroll up. Um, it's a, this cloak shifts color and texture to blend with the terrain surrounding you while wearing this cloak. You can use it as a spell casting focus for your druid and ranger spells. While you are in an area that is lightly obscured, you can hide as a bonus action even if you are being directly observed, which... I'm going to believe is like in um, <laughs> in Baldur's Gate when you are a certain kind of rogue and you get two bonus actions. <laughs> this is like that. Incidentally, in case anybody who wants to donate thinks they're going to donate because of sheer cuteness on this stream. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. This is this who is we've been negotiating with like this whole time. Explaining yes. Yes. It's the <laughs> yeah, it's black dragon. Mm -hmm. Now you see why they look very confused. They're they're just they're just a wee small Vanta Black Dragon. He just tried to bite me, but forgot what he was doing halfway through and just like left his mouth open on my arm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just classic noms. Yeah. yeah. I mean, as far as we've confused this dragon so far, that probably tracks. Like he's yeah. yeah. The dragon thought about eating you, then it was like, you know what? No. Uh -huh. We're uh, you're like you get infected with our th thought process. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. The dragon was just like, I thought I was an intelligent creature until I met you all. Shouldn't that make you feel more intelligent? That's Let's very, be honest. Very, very intelligent. Um, um, I Foster. think Virgil, Virgil catches the eye of the of the 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 farmer that kind of resembles Varric. Yeah, because I don't have a better way of putting that. <laughs> you, seem, you seem like a smart enterprising agricultural person uh-huh i feel like you would perhaps be willing to advocate on the part of your fellow farmers for the most beneficial relationship with let's say your Entrance. large neighbor <laughs> uh the dragon is agreeing but he's also kind of Looking over uh, Chaos's shoulder, I mean, it's it's a little far away, but they're nosy and want to see what Chaos picked up. Ah, uh, yes, Chaos picked up the uh, Revelers Concertina. So this is a wondrous item that uh, when you hold a bard gains a plus two bonus to any saving throw of bard, related to bard spells. And as an action, can use the concertina to cast Otto's Irresistible Dance via the item. Oh. Uh, and it's, then it just can't that. be used again until the next dawn. Oh, that's a good item. Um, so yeah, the, the dragon is just kind of nodding and looking at a legally distinct barrack. And... And it's just like they they kneel down so that they can like kind of interact with with this farmer, and you've convinced this dragon, um, to not just not eat them, eat yourselves or more cows, but to enter into a sustainable farming agreement with the town. 
Yeah. Welcome to teach RPGs, everybody. <laughs> uh, that, it's fantasy, but uh, mm -hmm. oh, we're not done because there is the matter of the contract, Virgil, because you did not fulfill it, and your family's agents will be waiting for you when you get back to town. Okay, did it specify we had to kill the dragon, or did it just say we had to deal with the problem? You had to kill the dragon. I would perhaps imply that since they had very likely sent out this missive several times and the parties that were meant to fulfill the contract had not actually returned, they would have no necessary way of knowing that it was Virgil that actually agreed to this current iteration of the contract that was offered. So if we got the hell out of Dodge, they ain't going to find me. Mm. Work, work for me. It's good Are you sure? No, especially since the person running the game asked that question. <laughs> <laughs> can, Kira, do, can you pull out a dragon plush from your bag of wonders? Unfortunately, no. I just have this little plushy beholder that looks like the Xanathar. Oh, and she pulls oh. out a tiny little plushy beholder that I, she got from Finley years ago. Oh. Yes, yeah, Scotty is very excited now because he actually has something <laughs> to contribute to the conversation. I met the Xanathar once. I stole uh, his goldfish. Oh. Um, I'm surprised you are still here. Silgar is yeah, kind of special we, to him. Yeah, we I we don't um my, my friends don't talk about Xanthar very much. It's it's not it's not a great thing back in Waterdeep. It's you know, mm, it, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping that that's licensed to merchandise. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's oh, not a chunk, it's not, not the chunk. It's the, it's yeah. a tiny thumber shod. I, I mean, as tiny as Thumber Chod can ever get. Really. Oh my there God. Oh, man. <laughs> and he's got yeah. the brick. Chunk, Thumber Chod, he, he be chunky. Yeah, Even so, tiny is, is a chunker. So good. Um, yeah. Okay, alternative idea as oh, we're, wow. we're throwing things around here. I have in my inventory a gray oh, bag God. of tricks and one of my cantrips. It's press digitation. Okay. I, like I can summon going. something, use press digitation on it, and say that this was the dragon. Uh, Virgil, how smart are your family? I don't think. Okay, let's let I I I need a a not history but history check with the GM. <laughs> What, what roughly or precisely, whichever you choose, was like the terms of the of the of the mission contract, et cetera. So the contract was to kill the dragon, um, take its hoard, uh, gives give the village mayor elder a little bit of the gold as a compensation. But they mainly just wanted the dragon's hoard. They didn't care what was in it because it's a dragon. It has a hoard. They wanted their money. Um, and as proof, you had to bring back either a claw, part of its tail, or a horn to prove that you killed it. Huh. Okay. Well, can't we just ask it to like give us a claw? See, see, chaos. We we are brainstorming right now. It's no bad ideas, but I do feel <laughs> obligated to fall, call out problem with plan. Uh, which is, Dragon is very big, and very obviously not dead. And we have just set up to where Dragon is important part of Village's ecosystem. <laughs> so uh, the rules will not last for very long. And oh, you okay. have caused us to be chased by debt collectors before. I would rather not have this happen again. <laughs> okay. Remember how that happened last time. I don't Scotty has remember. something to contribute. <laughs> And he goes up onto the, the dragon's face and from hammer space, apparently, pulls out his disguised self kit and draws like a mustache on the dragon. There, now nobody's going to know it's him. They'll think we killed him because he's a different dragon. now. He has a mustache. And if the town is no longer, if the village is no longer in danger or seeming to be worried about dragon attacks then surely we have dealt with the problem 
you can actually Virgil's a little more <laughs> animated about this because in his mind he's also realizing he gets to screw over his family. <laughs> and in in the event that they figure out that this is actually what what's actually happened, what are they gonna do? Go after a dragon and it's, a town? The horde is still here. The dragon is well, a dragon, a dragon is still definitely not that dragon. A dragon is still here. And the town is here, who is and again, making eyes with the very clever and probably wordsmithy. Sure, the town will tell great, great stories of our exploits in defeating that other dragon. Sure. Uh, legally distinct, Varric whips out a fresh quill and paper and starts writing. Um, the some... dragon now looks like Hercule Poirot, by the way. Just a dragon. Which definitely means there's an increase in intelligence. Yeah. Yes. And the real one, not the big bushy mustache. Sure. Are little gray cells much, much, much bigger in a dragon? Yes. Like mm. the gigantic gray cells. <laughs> All right. It is sushi. The dragon. <laughs> We had a plan for how this game was going to go, and this is not it. I would like oh, to share with Kat, like, out of out of character, obviously, because Scotty only has, like, a five-word vocabulary, um, that there has been no goose in this goose chase because I, um, we did not get that far because we stopped to charm a dragon. I feel like this is completely and utterly on brand for the title of a stream because what is this but a wild goose chase? Right. <laughs> I mean, cheers so, to Tanya for thinking that far ahead. Indeed. <laughs> I, so I met all of you. This is impressive. I wish to, to recap it. it. I, I'm st so a little un unclear on what exactly our plan is at this point. So we have we have put Mustache on dragon. So we are claiming his different dragon. We are now going to go and tell Virgil's. I mean our mysterious benefactor, whom Virgil is absolutely not tied to in any way, shape, or form. That oh, we've we've given up on that. That was now okay. Uh, I thought it was go, his family. We we apparently are going back with that now, yes. So we oh. we are going to then get paid by Virgil's family and then just try to leave town and hope they do not come after us for the money they pay us. Because oh, I'm okay oh, with this. It's <laughs> up to... oh, oh, oh yeah, no, they're not gonna pay us. <laughs> we didn't <laughs> no, they're they're really they're really strict about like, you know, subsections and all that. No. Did we no. sign a contract? No, we just accepted a gig. We're gig workers. It kind of sucks. That's why we know so much about taxation. But I feel like I we're hate this get a really good rating from this village. So, you know. So and getting paid in exposure. Mm -hmm. oh. So act well, actually, uh, you hear <laughs> someone speaking, not legally distinct, Beric. Uh, they come up behind you and go, Hey, you you all really handled that dragon really, really well. And and you see a tall elven woman beautiful dark skin emerald eyes very statuesque you know like if you saw fan art of her you'd be like yes she can bench me i would not object um i'm honestly surprised that the scenario of the dragon taking humans did not go in a totally different direction than it eating them <laughs> i'm, I'm kind of glad i, I mean, love that I this was, went yeah yeah it was one way or the other um oh, hi so she, you know she's she's got a halberd, which fork roll you can absolutely respect because it's this looks like a, if she hits you with it, it's not it'd be a fun time for her, not you. So you you handle the dragon. It's not eating us. It actually let you take stuff from its hoard. We got the bear like as you as she's talking, you see a barrel of gold barrel wheelbarrow of gold being carted away to pay for the cows and recompensate <laughs> the people's families. Um, how about you do something else for us if you have time? Well, okay. uh, apparently we have at least another, you know, seven to 30 minutes, depending on how much more we can raise for charity. Yeah. Does this yeah. person look like she's associated What's with like, the village or with something else? Um, she looks like she's probably captain of the guard. Oh, sweet. Okay. It's playing an inquisitive tune on the loot right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, no, hold on. I got to know how do you define an inquisitive tune? That's what I want to know. Yeah, what, what thing? I'm trying to think of an inquisitive <laughs> tune. Is it like is it suspicious tune? Like what? don't be. It's the I I think I feel like it's more the one that plays when somebody's confused, where it's like you're waiting for. <laughs> Sounds like a question mark. Oh no! Oh, you know what it is. You know what it is. It's like the zoom in and then the hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> See, my my classical roots went to it's any of the like Beethoven symphonies and where there's yeah. like an entire page and where you think it's about to end, but and then it doesn't, it doesn't end. Never ends. <laughs> then never ends. It's going like, and we're about to end. And no, uh, uh, no false. Condition. Yeah, there's false just condition. no resolution until mm. we get the answer. <laughs> um. So, so this woman who's who refuses to give you her name is just Did like we ask for it. We didn't ask. No, yeah, no. Like, we didn't ask. So okay, no, okay. but, not but yet, she's but not. Our... She's not showing any manners of introducing herself. Basically, um, she's like, "So you handled a dragon really well. Thank you. Um, I've got a different problem. Also, kind of a reptile." But much smaller. Okay. Like how 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 much smaller and what kind of problem? Uh a bunch mm -hmm. of and I'm on Orkira's head. A bunch of Canadian geese run by. Oh. Uh -uh. Um, we should flee. So gonna, we should I'm gonna, flee. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna no, I'm gonna say no to that. I've dealt with Define actual bunch. demons before, and I think those are not uh, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, no. How so many wait, is wait, 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 wait. Have you seen them with their mouth open? So you're willing to face a dragon, but not a bird. We're how many? How many Those of them? Stupid. Mm -hmm. Those aren't birds. Those are devils in bird form. There's, there's only six. When you said reptile, I was assuming you just meant like crocodiles or something safe. Oh, I could stab a crocodile. I'm not worried about them. Have you seen are these? So? Yeah. Are they bundled up together or are they far apart? Ooh. There's like Why two rows of hissing? three. Are they like snapping at us like West Side Story? Like, is it is it about to go off? Like, I mean, they're they're Canadian geese. It's always about to go off. Hey. <laughs> I mean, like, let's go get us some broomsticks so, you know, and a what, random you know rock. Let's push down the, um, the road. We'll one keep. question of clarification: What is the dealing with them? What, what what dealing with them? How? Oh, catching them and making them dinner. Making them what, dinner what and then eat? like preparing their dinner. What do they eat? No, making them into dinner. So I can cast fireball. I can cast yeah, lightning. Uh, we have a dragon. I I recommend we 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 take this on because I I Hawkrill is healing voice of Tempest in head and Tempest is suggesting we go fight these geese because there are members of Pantheon who have been donating to give uh, influence on dice rolls that we have yeah. not been making for the last hour or so. So engaging into combat with these would be a good way to make people feel that their donations have impact. You said there were six of them, I correct? Told Elise it would be fine. See, I told you all. I told her. Yeah, but when we told Elise it would be fine, we were just talking about a dragon. But now we're talking about six geese from a land that is in a different plane of existence of ours that I know are real, real dangerous. So if we're going to do this, and Rakira reaches over and just, uh, you okay if I uh, touch your shoulder, or girl? Oh, please, go ahead. It's going to touch you on the shoulder and cast Death Ward. <laughs> I know wow. a song about six geese. Does anybody Who want to know my song? Who has the best charisma here? Definitely probably. not Scotty. Yeah, you were Virgil, say, probably. You, you're yeah, the bard. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, mine's pretty good. Mine's mine is terrible. Go figure. Okay. Are you are you wanting to are you wanting to charm geese? Please don't charm the geese. We actually no. need to roll the dice. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I want to do something else, which will be stupid but funny. Oh, okay, that works. Okay, that's good. Lauren knows sure. what it is. I told you, Lauren, what my. Oh, I mean, you should absolutely do that, especially if we are going to take on these geese. L Lauren is actually more worried about the geese than the dragon. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who should get the benefit of this particular spell. Oh, well, all of us. And we'll just talk to it. one, two, three, four, five. I can. I think it's up to eight. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> Nah, you nah, see it's the, all good. the geese go by. Are are they just like hanging out? Like what? Well, they were they were kind of like circling the wagon, so to speak. But then they note geese are these geese are smart. They recognize the woman with the halberd as someone who's attacked them. 
So they're like, oh, you know, like how the elephant attacked the woman's funeral in India. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. It's that level of smart. The, the, those geese remember Pepperidge Farm. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, mm. Kelly, we made the goal. Oh, we Holy did. Crap. Okay. Hey. Yeah. All right. Uh, Thank you, everybody. I, don't yell new goal at me. I don't think I should put up a new goal. <laughs> Not until well, I mean, yeah, we are about to end. We are about to. Yeah, and gee, I wonder who did that. that. Are we about about <laughs> to die by geese? I mean, it could happen. Scotty, I somebody mean, donated could. for three treats for you. Aww. Hey, ask hey, do your thing, and then we'll um <laughs> attack All right. the geese. Please explain Chaos what you I'm going. Chaos is going to cast. Hopefully, I say this name correct. Rari's telepathic bond. And what does that do? I forge a telepathic link among up to eight willing creatures of my choice within range, cyclically linking each of them to all the others for the duration. So are you linking the party to the geese? Yes. That's more than eight people. Yeah, so I'm going to link five of us, and I'm just going to like cast the net out and hope I get three of the geese. Okay. Oh, this is like sensate, but weird now. <laughs> Oh, no, so, you all are going to actually have to deal with what Scotty's thinking. <laughs> mm -hmm. So give me give me three D20 rolls, all with it, all with advantage. So we use our advantages. All right. This has gone so off the rails. <laughs> hey, but we managed to sneak a goose in. Yeah, that was desperation. <laughs> if, we're, I mean, if we're linking geese into like a telepathic thing does that make this as a, a goose stalt very funny <laughs> bravo that was real good that was uh, real good. i rolled a 20 and 18 and an 11 so the 20 and 18 do net you geese the 11 does not great we're all connected to two geese and we could hear each other telepathically <laughs> oh god Oh no, we know what the geese are thinking. What are the geese thinking? Um, Death that and murder? Scotty, that Scotty would make a nice snack. You're small. They could carry you off. Am I rolling initiative? Maybe. The geese are also very confused as to hear all of these other thoughts. They have tiny brains. <laughs> so you have befuddled and frightened these two geese. And you all now can, you all are now psychically linked. What? What on earth are you doing? Because there's two geese that are now in your thoughts and the other four geese are roaming around very confused why their two friends are acting weird. Are we scaring the geese or are we attacking the geese? I didn't think that far ahead. Okay, just, well, Scotty makes the decision food. for everybody because we haven't had a single fight and we've got lots Aww. of advantages. Yes. So Thanks. you hear a sneeze <laughs> and then... <laughs> Because I can, in the middle of the goose pack, surprise attack. This is exactly mm. how Scotty attacks. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He's like that, that dog that takes the little sword and beats up on the owners that you see on TikTok. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I'm going to, I guess, make it an attack against one of the geese I'm not psychically linked, psych well, psychically linked with. Oh, yeah, this seems like a terrible life choice I've just made for us. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. a nat 20. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, so, Scotty, you did a sneak attack and you got a nat 20. What is your ridiculous amount of damage? Twenty two. I mean, it's just a goose. You. you... <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, you say that like like we're not all looking at these geese assuming that they are pit fiends in disguise <laughs> you you chomped a leg off yeah <laughs> yeah, well, yeah uh, i mean scotty is now doing the uh the equivalent of the whole you know dips his paws in the blood and gives like the blood streaks on the face he's like let's go <laughs> how many times does scotty get as a as a bar uh, 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 as a and i only get one attack per action at level five Okay. Uh, so Scotty has gone. Is anyone else attacking his keys? Yep. Hawkrow will will see Scotty go into this, and that guy gets gets the end up. He's like, "Girls, 
Come, my friends, follow the dog for glory, for purpose. And we'll charge into the, straight to the middle of the goose, uh, the geese. Uh, cast, he's going to cast <laughs> Spirit Guardians um, yes. as it goes through. We're going to up this to fifth level because why the hell not? Yeah. And so we are going to summon a the natural predator of geese. So a whole cloud of tiny winged celestial foxes are surrounding Horcrawl. <laughs> just flooding around, snapping and barking at the geese. Which I love won't do anything now, but at the, at the start of their turn, um, they're going to take 5d8 radiant damage. Oh my god. <laughs> so are you aiming for any geese or goose in particular with this? It is a, it is a 15 foot radius around me. So it is any geese that are in there in that radius at the start of their turn. All right. Spirit Guardians is real fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, I should probably roll for the geese, but this is just such chaos. Um, we haven't rolled initiative. You know no. what? At this point, <laughs> just go with whatever. Like roll. that, we had one before, but then we decided to talk. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So who wants to go next, and then the geese will go. Oh shit. I mean, like, I have something I want to do, but since I already cast, cast a spell, oh, I want I, everybody else to... I, you know, okay, you know, I got... Let's see. How many geese did we have? That we uh, were there were six. Unless there were six. Thank you so much, Zach, for that oh, thanks, Zach. very oh, large God. donation. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Uh, thanks. <gasps> the instruction oh, yeah. was to spoil Scotty. Aw. Mm -hmm. Done. Have you okay, met, buddy. Have you met Scotty? Like, okay, buddy. Hmm. Now, just so everybody in chat knows who doesn't know about Scotty, because we've had a couple raids, Scotty is a rescue dog who only has about five teeth, but he uses them to great purpose. Yes, and in real life, he will just gum you. Yes, He definitely does the, like, gnawing noms. It's very cute. Yeah, he has to put him all the way back in his molders, like that. Aww. <laughs> oh, Scotty. So oh, Scotty, Scotty IRL is enjoying noms. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> are, you know what? Just for funsies and also being mindful of time. Um, two of the geese that are not in your, your mind link in your mind palace. Attack oh. Hork Roll. <laughs> and they, what happens when they jump into the cloud of foxes? Uh, da, 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 da. Let me check when this... When does the damage actually kick in? Uh, it's when they enter the first, it's when they enter for the first time. So they take it as soon as they go into the cloud. And that was what, 8d8 radiant? 5d8. That's still a lot for a goose, mm -hmm. for a regular everyday goose. Unless you roll like only ones. <laughs> yeah, which let me roll. So that would be, it's a pretty good My roll. My dog like five minutes to choose. Uh, 19 <laughs> radiant damage. That's actually pretty fast for Scotty. It, it is. He's still got a bit of, he's still got a rawhide that he's been working on for 18 months. <laughs> um, so you now have a pile of feathers and blood at your feet, Hork Roll. <laughs> they're they're just geese. They're not very strong. They think mm -hmm. they're stronger than they are. So three geese down, three to go. Uh the other two geese kind of that gives them pause though when they see their friends <laughs> turn into a pile of feathers. <laughs> Um, the two that we can talk to or others? So the two that you can talk to and one more. I Oh, that's right. We're still Scotty like, actually decides to hmm. stand up and through the... Oh, God, I have to say this with a dagger in my mouth. This is going to be great. How long do you think you're hot enough? Come on. Now without your dagger, so the DM knows exactly yeah, what you're Come on, if you think you're hard enough, like, attack me. Uh, uh, would you run away? Far, far away. Are you I'm telling imagining, me? I'm imagining Scott is just like up on Horcrawl's shoulder at this point. Just yes, like, yes. That's the only way Scotty will ever be them. tall enough to challenge anything. <laughs> yes. He's only about 10 inches tall. Uh, so, Chaos, are you Wait, telling the two geese that can understand you to run away? I'm giving them the option mentally through our connection. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to, the geese probably will not do much. Uh, I'm going to roll for the geese. I'm going to roll 2d20 and see what happens. Roll for goose. Oh my god, one of them got a nat one. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the one that you're linked to, so it did not listen to you, Chaos. It just decided to go knuck if you buck. 
and ran up into the cloud as <laughs> even though it saw its friends become Cuisinart pile of feathers. <laughs> uh so that is another one that will get the 8d or the 5d8 so the two that are left are the ones you all can talk to uh virgil do you want to do anything or are you all trying to save these these geese no i i i do um but i do not know what's going to happen with us being psychically linked to uh, geese uh <laughs> but no yeah virgil virgil uh whips out his fan uh, towards the last two geese because he's been talking to the dragon about culinary experiences and this oh. is perhaps something the dragon has not <laughs> experienced before oh and he does mm. cast uh chain lightning at the remaining two geese but ah! he uses the sorcery point to convert it to fire and not lightning damage yes. because we are about to roast some geese up in here you big ass salt uh, first uh, hmm. so again we got a little spices in here or else we're just british I mean, uh, sometimes you got to go in because I mean, you you don't necessarily know everyone's spice tolerance. So, you know, like, Kira starts to pull a giant bottle of hot sauce from her bag and then puts it away. Gets <laughs> <laughs> it like part way out and it's like, oh, you know, like, yeah, it's like, actually, you know, keep it, keep it in your holster. It's good. Um, so, yeah, it is. I'm going to guess it's a hot sauce not... holster. I kind of like that idea. Yeah, it's a deck <laughs> save of 16. Bandelier. You know what? I'm not even gonna roll for those geese. They're geese. They're common oh, geese. They're dead. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so, they're so sorry, but yeah, they 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 take. I just want to roll it because it's a lot of d8. Go roll it. Yeah. So it's like when you use. The... <laughs> oh my god! How many? I'm afraid to look. Forty-one points of fire <laughs> damage, but it is gently basted, roasted at like a certain degree level, and turned appropriately. Perfectly fire controlled damage. fire. So, you know, it sort of like kind of creates a bit of a whirlwind, a bit of an internal cooker. There's some convection happening. Oh, yeah, but they're they're cooked. So, you know, like in video games, when you would like kick over a garbage can, there'd be a perfectly cooked turkey. Mm. Yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's what some, you're... That, Castlevania it's like wall meat from Soul Castlevania. Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <Soul> <laughs> yep. um, Why do we eat that chicken. wall meat? Why? Richter is not bright. You know what? There was a panel about it at PAX West. I need to see if it was filmed. Um, <laughs> but yes, you you now have a lovely, two lovely cookies to offer to the new dragon friend who has just been watching this going. Mm -hmm. Why did those silly little raptors not just run away? Because the dragon sees it as like a far, 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 far yeah. away cousin. So. Dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's close. Yeah, this it's tracks. Amazing. They remember uh, their it, dinosaurs, by the way. How how to brace the old dragon. Oh. <laughs> I want you to know that if this for any reason had failed for Virgil, Chaos did have something planned, but it did not go in as intended. All right. All right. Cool. 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 There's just a random weasel now on the field. Nice. Oh, that's oh okay. Good. That's okay. Good. <laughs> okay. So the weasel, uh, the weasel's like going and enjoying what's left of the of the chickens that got cuisinarded by Horkroll's uh field of spirit foxes. Yep. Orkira's gonna go find the the really beautiful lady who gave us this task and just kind of walk up and say, I'm so done. Um oh, no. <laughs> uh, unless there were more than those six. Um, no. Okay. All right. Um, we didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves. Um, hi, I'm Orkira. That's uh, Virgil and Chaos and Scotty and Horkroll. Uh, what was, what was your name again? So my mom had had a sense of humor. She named me Zariel. Oh, I don't no. know why, but she did. She named me Zariel. She thought it was funny. I've endured it my whole life. I don't think it's funny, but I'm not that Zariel of the hells. I, I kind of figured because that seems like a see. weird thing. Yeah. Um, have you thought about going by a nickname? Uh, most people just call me X because it's also spelled weird because, again, she thought she had a sense of humor. Oh, oh okay. All right. Um, would you like a weasel? Would you like I'm a sorry, weasel? what? <laughs> and do what with it? Oh, no. I summoned it from a bag of tricks. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Is that and Virgil immediately? Is that is is that a real weasel or like a magical weasel? Can we like can we strip and cook that too? 
Does anybody know how the bag of tricks works and if it's a real or a magical one? It's it's real, but it goes away after an hour if it dies. So it's it's so what you're saying is it's zero calorie food. I mean, I've never I've never tried. <laughs> <laughs> I always felt like that was a little weird and cruel. And sometimes when you summon things, they come from other planes of existence. And have you ever had to encounter something that you summon from another plane of existence back on their plane of existence <laughs> after they've got like roasted by uh, a something like a boulder? It's bad. So she's just. She just pets the weasels, like, just let it go. It's going to go away. I um, just come back to the inn. I will make sure that you get paid for taking care of the geese. Uh, I see that our our lead, our, that guy, the one that you befriended, the, the dwarf, is taking care of the dragon thing. I, I think we're square. I, I'm going to go drink heavily now because this was a lot for, like, before 5 p.m., and uh, she's just like, you know, you'll, and she just like does the the kind of wave over her shoulder. I'll see you at the back of the end. And uh, you all have managed to not die to the goose or to the dragon. You've killed <laughs> or both. Yep. And uh, you didn't go to hell. So we lied to you about the yes. time shame. <laughs> or, hey. or we gave you a, a, a goose chase, a wild goose chase. Ah, we were subverting expectations. It was going to be a wild goose chase, but <laughs> mm -hmm. it turned out to be a red herring. I I've just rolled the numbers right for the raffle winners, incidentally, and I had to do it four times because I kept forgetting to not count anonymous. <laughs> okay. Um, do we want to announce the winners? Uh, first, I would love to tell everybody about what their donations do, um, because if anybody's feeling altruistic in the last few moments mm -hmm. of the game. Um, so basically, your donations help fund research into a cure for MS, which I would dearly love to happen tomorrow, but probably won't be. Um, and also support for both the people living with MS and their families. So for instance, at different tiers, uh, $250 gets a person called an MS navigator to support someone who's been diagnosed and help them navigate finding a doctor, dealing with insurance companies, all that kind of stuff. And as someone who did not have that when my husband was diagnosed, Trust me, it's an invaluable service. Um, $750 would provide a family with respite care to help support caregivers and make sure that they can take care of themselves as well as the people that they love. 1,000 is my favorite because it provides a modification to an automobile to help people with MS maintain independence. And $5,000 is one full month of support for a research fellow to help launch a career for the next person who's going to do great MS research. So without further ado, let me actually count up these numbers that, roll. I, that I rolled. So the first thing we are rolling for the is... equivalent of a drum roll. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> the first thing we're rolling for is a full character illustration uh, from Lou at Realm One, who also again designed these shirts, which also again you can buy these by going to Realm One's website, and you can even get them personalized. I forgot to show the back. Sorry. Ooh. And uh, so the person that wins that is Spring Leaf. Yay! Spring Leaf. Yay, Leaf. Leaf. I don't know if you're lurking. If not, we know how to get a hold of. Yeah, Leaf. we know how to get a hold of. And the second one, okay, that rolled for Tanya, and I don't think Tanya is going to want it. Well, I shouldn't be rolled anyway. And that one would go to, well, that's kind of fitting. Zach rules. Hey. Hey, Zach, congrats. Uh, no, get in touch. What was that rolling for, Kelly? Uh, what? That what was, was that oh, rolling sorry. for? That was rolling for a custom-made GM screen from Kai Hawkeye. Ooh, that is sweet. Yeah, mm -hmm. and better than that, everybody in chat who donated, and trust me, I love all of you, even if I don't know you. Um, Kai has also very generously provided a discount code for everybody watching the stream on their Etsy shop, which I will totally get the link for because I put it in Discord and forgot to 
copy pasta it. Um, and it would be for 20% off. And that 20% of the sale will actually go to the MS Society. And the discount code is Philly Goose. In all caps. All caps. So, yes. Thank you so much, Kai Hawkeye. Uh, that is a, a very generous gift. Lou at Realm One, again, thank you because they've donated four of those for us to give away. And uh, yeah, so let me go grab that Etsy shop link while everybody does outros. Is that Diet Water Productions? It is Diet Water Productions. Thank okay. you. Hey. <laughs> thank you, Brian. It's like between us, uh, we're all like quest accepted, <laughs> like Diet Water Productions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're going to go a little bit out of order so Kelly can go last. Uh, Mandy, who are you? What are you doing next? Where can we find you? Apparently I'm chaos and I can roll an amazing performance role. I will never <laughs> do this again in my life. Um, but hi, everyone. I'm you Mandy derailed Angel, the whole campaign. <laughs> I ruined the entire thing. Or, or, or you made it awesome so no. who who expected for us to talk about the ecological sustainability of a dragon living in proximity to a village Love i mean with this us. group i didn't expect it but i'm not surprised uh but hi everyone i'm mandy i go by lady luck 34 on the internet uh and i was playing chaos our high high half elf bard who causes chaos apparently uh but you can find me around the internet uh on via lady luck 34 twitch twitter blue sky all of those places i stream and am silly and i will also be at twitchcon this upcoming weekend doing a chat with tanya and friends about parasocial relationships and I'm sure there's other things, but I'll forget what they are in about five seconds. So thank you all so much for hanging out with us, supporting us, and joining the nonsense that's been the last couple of hours. Uh, Chris. Hi. All right. And Chris Kinnears, aka The Painting Pirate, he and pronouns. Uh, I do a bunch of stuff. I am a miniature painter, variety streamer. I stream Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays here on Twitch. Uh, I do mostly a lot of these types of charity one shots. I, I'm available for TTRPG stuff. If people want to bring me on for that, I, I'm always happy to do stuff. So, you know, hit me up through the emails over at paintingpirate.com. Um, yeah, that largely covers what I'm doing. Lauren. Hi, I'm Lauren Urban. You can find the stuff I'm doing at lauren-urban.com. I'll be on stream on the Players and Book channel in just uh, an hour and a half playing my other cleric. But more importantly, uh, there was a lot of awesome things that happened during this game, including a bunch of money, which was thrown around, but not everybody has the funds. So thank you to everybody who was hanging out in chat, uh, cheering us on and, and helping out. And uh, if you would like to help more and do not have the funds, like many of us do not have the funds to help, you can help in other ways. I really suggest you follow uh, that opera geek who, who was somewhere on the thing, because I'm sure she's going to be doing some more uh, streaming and fundraising for this awesome charity. And so follow and help boost all of those fundraisers, because not everybody has the funds and telling other people what's going on is just as important. So thank you. Brian. Hi, uh, I'm Brian. I what am I doing? Probably not a lot lately streaming, but I've had the weekend off because it's my birthday. So yay. Yay. yay! And I will say thank you everyone for hanging out with us today. It is like I love playing charity games and it's always nice when people show up and like celebrate the chaos that we create. And to add on to what Lauren said and to remind everybody of what Kelly said at the top of the stream, Kelly is currently the only person who is raising for MS Society on Tiltify right now. However, if you go to the main link for, um, if you go to the main link for um, <clears throat> Hedgehog Center, Hedge, what is it? Hedgehog, Hedgehog Command, Command Center. <laughs> Hedgehog Command Center. If you go to that main link, you also can, uh, you can click on the MS Society from there and you can join. You can also do MS Quest Accepted. It's a really easy way. Uh, fundraising on Tiltify is very easy. It is very stress-free. Don't worry about not like raising massive amounts of money, but also it helps keep the conversation going. It raises awareness about the charity. Uh, this is really important. And thank you all for being here. And um I'm just, this has been a lot of fun. I'm still like, Mandy, oh, yeah. you'll never roll this well again, <laughs> but I hope that you do because I want it to happen every time. <laughs> Nonsense awaits. <laughs> uh, I've been your derailed DM, 
Anya Seifert tier. <laughs> um, no, so, you know, to be a little bit serious, one, it was a great role. I said, do it. I look at charity games as like basically YOLO, fuck it. We're having fun and mm-hmm. we're doing good. We're doing things for a good cause. Mm-hmm. And it also challenged me as a DM to have to fix everything on the fly. So I I think I did it. I'm glad I already have whiskey poured. <laughs> <Yep>. um, <laughs> you did and it was you awesome. Did so great. thank you. Yep. Fantastic. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> And uh, like Mandy said, I will be at TwitchCon this upcoming week doing uh, a talk on parasocial relationships. It is not being streamed, but we are trying to get one of the panelists to record it um, because it is something uh, that we need to talk about, especially those of us that are public facing and also people that, um, you know, just because you stream doesn't mean that you know everyone that is in your chat and vice versa. Um, also, like Brian and Kelly said, Kelly's the only one currently on the Hedgehog Army. So if you stream, even if you can't do a fundraiser, you know what you can do. You can make a command with Kelly's donation link in your stream that can run on a timer if you don't have the spoons or the timer energy to do your own fundraiser. Um, you can encourage people to donate. You can just talk about it. You know, just leave the command up as long as the link is up. And, you know... I'm going to be shady and go, a lot of us got paid from Twitch. If not today, then we will on Monday. You can throw a few bucks over the MS Society if you got it. Um, but yeah, it's always my pleasure to do this. Thanks for keeping me on my toes as a DM. And uh, <laughs> now I'm going to go figure out what I'm doing the rest of the day before I go to TwitchCon in a few days. And uh, Kelly, take us out. Okay. Hi, it's me again. I'm Kelly, the Opera Geek. Uh, and just to give people an idea, because I always forget to do this because I forgot to give DC the slideshow to explain a little bit about what MS is, because most people don't understand it. Uh, it's actually an autoimmune disease affecting the central nervous system. So basically, uh, you get little like pinhole drops in your spinal cord and brain where you're there's not supposed to be. And the immune system cells get in there and start attacking the lining of your nerves. Um For my husband, it attacked the lining of the nerves controlling his right eye. So he does wear an eye patch, hence the name Pirate Jesus. And he's also bearded and yeah, whatever. Um, So it is a devastating disease. Some people will have one attack and never have another one. Other people will get what's called primary progressive, which would put you in a wheelchair. And it's very fast. So it's a very, very important cause. We currently don't have any way medically or scientifically to regenerate nerves. And if we could fund the research into that, it wouldn't just help cure MS. It would help cure so many things. Um, So I I can't tell you all enough how much this means to me. Um, I often feel very guilty because there's nothing I can really do to help my husband, even on his worst days. You know, there are days with flares where he can't walk or his other eye cuts out and he cannot see. And I can't do anything except try to fundraise to get more money for this cause. So I really appreciate everybody that has donated. I appreciate my friends to absolutely no end. Like, you don't understand how much I love you. And I'm pretty sure most of y'all are going to be at PAX Unplugged, so I'm going to get to hug all the people. And I'm going to give everybody an actual size comparison so you see what the size of this dog actually is. And it's very small. It was um, like, uh. <laughs> And tonight at a time that I think is maybe um, 7 Eastern? Question mark? I'm going to be on Praxagor Thesmophoria's channel playing a 1v1 one-shot as a, from Vampire the Masquerade. And we will be continuing to raise money. And other than that, uh, I will be streaming on Tuesday and Friday this week. Why are you cutting in front of my camera? Okay. Uh, Tuesday and Friday this week. Um, I am on my first playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition, and I am terrible at it. Also, I am going to make this promise on screen in front of people because that's the only way I'll be held accountable for this. Mandy, don't lean into your camera like that. <laughs> It scares me. I'm like, I want to really want to know what this promise is. If I can make at least 5,000 by the end of the month, I will, in fact, 
return for another honey heist one shot <laughs> and, as the DM. And I, well, I'm just going to say it because I'll just bully him until he does. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Doug Cockle will come and play his totally not Geralt of Rivia Bear. <laughs> um, because I'm not actually bullying Doug. He's a wonderful person. And I promise I will recruit the most chaotic people I can and give myself a head. Tanya, don't raise your eyebrow. Give myself a headache <laughs> all for charity. Um, I'm also supposedly doing a painting stream at some point this month, but I don't have anything to paint. So I think I've got to talk about that. Anyway, Thank you all again. I appreciate you so much. And also, I want a big cheer for DC, who has done all the production yes. for this stream behind the scenes, including the fabulous Scotty Cam. So, <laughs> and the so, overlay. Yay, and DC. Thing. Everything did everything. Yep. Thank um, you. So yeah, everybody, just if you follow me um, at the Opera Geek or follow at Stream to End MS, you can follow along with Quest Accepted. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I've talked too much, so. You have not. Uh, thank you all for, for giving up part of your weekend, Brian, especially because it's your birthday weekend. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you, Scotty, for being our little Mabari this, this game session. <laughs> oh, he, Hims loves you. He knows. Oh, do you want one more treat? <laughs> because you see your Tanya. He hears your voice through my headphones. That's why he keeps looking uh, at you. Scotty adores on. Tanya. Like, adores uh, Tanya. So uh, we we're done. We're all going to go off and do other things again. Lauren is going to go be on another show in about an hour. Kelly's going to be on another a charity game, and I may get back on later and stream. I don't know. It depends on how much progress I make on actually leaving in this week for TwitchCon. But in the meantime, we are going to um, go raid friend of the channel, uh, leader of the Wiki Cookies, also a member of Team Cipher Imperial. She is doing art, and we're, I don't know what kind of art, but we're going to go see what she's up to. So uh, I'll start the raid. If DC, if you can send us to the end screen or, be our, or whatever screen Thanks, we have. Thanks, everyone. Thank we you, Mike. Thank you so much.